Detroit police looking for more victims after a man is shot and killed on the city's west side. And cause for concern, the World Health Organization sounds the alarm, declaring monkeypox a global emergency. And taking a look here this morning across the river from Windsor, gloomy, a little cloudy out there. We are watching some showers to start our Sunday. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News Today starts right now. Good Sunday morning. It's 7 o'clock. I'm Grant Herms. And I'm Priya Mann. Thanks for joining us for Local 4 News today. Usually we're talking about what a glorious I know. sunrise. This, this much, not so much today. <laughs> yeah, not so mm. much today, Andrew. And when we look at the radar, it certainly tells us why. Certainly does. With showers and thunderstorms, those skies over Detroit looking quite ominous with those dark gray conditions that are here. You can see some heavy downpours right here in downtown Detroit, especially here closer to the northwest side of the city as you head up the lodge and also head up Grand River. Some lightning and thunder associated with it also. From northwest side of the city of Detroit into places like Royal Oak, also Oak Park, Ferndale, you're about to get a heavy downpour. You've got some moderate rain right now. Right along 8 Mile, that's, that's, where this area of heavy, that's where this heavier cell is going to ride as we go through the next couple of hours. you got this smaller, but it's still a heavy uh, cell also just north of Big Beaver, right near Big Beaver and Crooks in Troy. This will move over Sterling Heights within the next 5 to 10 minutes as well. So on and off, light to moderate rain, but in, embedded within that light rain, heavier showers that are possible also. And don't forget, whenever there's lightning around, indoors is the place to be. Temperatures will be in the 80s this afternoon, and we're looking at temperatures that will uh, be in the 80s throughout much of the week. But how long is this rain going to stick around into tomorrow and beyond? All of that in your seven-day forecast in minutes. All right, thanks, Andrew. See you soon. One man is dead this morning and police are looking for the gunman responsible. The shooting happened around 8 last night on Parkland Street. That's between Joy and Warren near Rouge Park. Police tell us it appears some sort of shootout happened and a man was shot several times and died. Police also say there could be more victims. There were possibly two other individuals that were either in the vehicle or near the vehicle at the time. Uh, we believe it may be a possibility we have another person that may be injured. Um, it looks like this was a shootout, but right now it's still early in our investigation, so it's hard for us to determine that. And we've got no reports that anybody else has showed up at any of the area hospitals. So um, that's where we stand right now. And as of this morning, police have made no arrests and are looking for a four-door dark Dodge journey. We'll keep you updated with any new updates on Local 4 and click on Detroit.com. State police used Narcan on a toddler after they say the child ingested heroin and stopped breathing. It happened yesterday morning in Roseville near Little Mac and Masonic. Troopers say the 18-month-old's mother flagged them down and then handed their da her daughter to them. An investigation revealed the toddler took heroin and then was given Narcan. Investigators say the mother then tried to hide heroin during the investigation. There was also a three-year-old inside that car. The mother and two kids were taken to the hospital. The 18-month-old is still in critical condition. Oh, such a sad story. Meanwhile, in Southfield, police need your help this morning finding a missing 13 year old girl. Take a look. Police say this is Sharita Strickland. She was last seen riding her bike in the area of Lasser at Nine Mile just before 9 a.m. Saturday morning. They say she's about five and a half feet tall and has bright blue hair. She was last seen wearing a gray shirt and blue jeans while carrying a green purse. Anyone with information is asked to call Southfield Police. That an update about a story we first brought to you yesterday morning about a crash on I-94 near the Southfield Freeway. We learned that three people have died after that crash that involved a motorcycle and an SUV. It happened around 2.55 yesterday morning on westbound 94 near the Southfield Freeway. Troopers say a silver envoy traveling east crossed the median into westbound traffic, hitting a Yukon and a motorcycle. A 46-year-old man and a 34-year-old woman in the envoy died, as well as the 45-year-old motorcycle. The driver and passenger of the Yukon are in serious condition. Time now is 7.04 and President Joe Biden continues his battle against COVID-19. The president's doctor says he's continuing to improve but is now experiencing a sore throat, loose cough and body aches. In a letter released Saturday, Dr. Kevin O'Connor says the president most likely contracted the BA5 variant and has completed his second full day of treatment and is tolerating it well. President Biden is vaccinated and twice boosted. He's isolating at the White House in accordance with the CDC guidelines. Well, it is the highest level of alert issued for a disease. 
The World Health Organization declaring monkeypox a global health emergency, saying we have an outbreak that has spread around the world rapidly. Kathy Park has details. The World Health Organization sounding the alarm on the rapid spread of monkeypox. The global monkeypox outbreak represents a public health emergency of international concern. The highest alert level triggered with more than 16,000 cases of monkeypox reported in roughly 75 countries and territories this year. In the U.S., there have been nearly 3,000 cases in 45 states, Maine joining that growing list this weekend. The majority of the infections have been traced to men who have sex with men and can spread through direct contact with the infectious rash, prolonged face-to-face -face contact or intimate physical contact. A new study from the New England Journal of Medicine found that transmission was suspected to have occurred through sexual activity in 95 percent of the persons with infection. In addition to the increase in the number of cases is the concern that this is going to go beyond the current social network of, of high-risk individuals and that we're going to start looking at this to become generalized across the population. On Friday, the CDC confirmed the first two U.S. cases of monkeypox in children, which some health experts say could have happened through holding, feeding, or sharing items like bedding. Both of those children um, are traced back to uh, individuals who come from the men who have sex with men community, the gay men, uh, men community. Those children are doing well. Already, the demand for vaccines is overwhelming health departments across the country. In New York City Friday, 17,000 vaccine appointments were booked within 30 minutes. It's been really difficult to find an appointment lately. In response to the outbreak, the Department of Health and Human Services announced that 2.5 million doses will begin arriving over the next year. But until then, some experts say we could be headed toward a new normal. My big concern is that this becomes now a permanent fixture um, that we talk about the United States. That was Kathy Park reporting for us this morning. Now switching gears here, let's get a check on what you'll be paying if you need to fill up your gas tank this weekend. Gas prices across the country continue to go down. Here in Michigan, the average gas price is $4.44 a gallon. In Metro Detroit, you'll be paying $4.42. That's 25 cents lower than this time last week. I, I, was, saw, I saw sub four dollars gas. The other you day. did? Yeah. Like like four dollars. Yeah. It was it was four ninety eight. Wow, mm -hmm. that's incredible. I was just reading that. Or three ninety eight. Sorry. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, gas prices have been falling steadily for like the last thirty nine days. Yeah. So relief is finally here a it's little bit. It's yeah, encouraging. It is. Definitely. It is. It's not where we want it, but no. at least it's heading in the right direction. Yeah.